How to price your home to sell. How to price your home to sell for top dollar. That's what we're talking about today. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Annie Baker. I'm a realtor here in beautiful Silicon Valley. I have been specializing in selling houses here for about 15 years. I make these videos weekly. I do a lot of topics on buying and selling in this area. I try and do some fun ones just about what it's like to live here. So do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. That will really help me. And if you'd like any of my videos, click the thumbs up. I really appreciate it. If there's any topic that you're interested in, just go ahead and comment below and I'll try and do a video for you. So back to today's topic. How to price your home to sell for top dollar? Well, a lot of times when I'm meeting with homeowners, they are referring to their, what I refer to as their house, they keep referring it to as their home. Their home, they tell me how long they've lived there, all their memories, and whether it's been two years or 40 years, they're really attached, it means a lot to them. And it's their home, they've kind of forgotten any of the drawbacks. It's where they've lived. For me as a professional, I have to have objective eyes. I have to look at their home as a house. And what would prospective buyers like or not like about that house? And all those things go into where we come up with a list price. And that's huge here. Before I even can start doing any of my print marketing or my online marketing, the price has to be the right price. So without talking about the remodeling aspects of a house or how big or small it is, today what I'm gonna focus on is location. Most people have heard location, location, location when buying a house. That's the most important thing. But today I'm gonna to break down factors that go into what is a good location or a bad location. In Silicon Valley, there are a lot of areas like Mountain View, Los Gatos, uh, Sunnyvale, Palo Alto, that they're great locations. Just because a house is located in one of those cities doesn't make it all desirable. There are parts of every neighborhood that can have drawbacks to their location. So number one in terms of a location in a city is schools. All housing prices are so directly related to schools in Silicon Valley. If you're in a top school district, you're gonna get a higher price than a house in your same neighborhood that might go to the second tier school in that school district. It's just the way it is. So for example, in Los Gatos, just because you have a Los Gatos address and you live in the same neighborhood as some friends, doesn't necessarily mean you're going to the top Los Gatos schools. You could be in a, a neighboring school district like the Union School District or the Campbell School District, even though you still have a Los Gatos address. So that's hugely important. It can have a swing of upwards of $100,000 depending on which school your house is zoned for. Number two, the street that your house is located on in your neighborhood. Is it a street that people used to cut through to get to other parts of the neighborhood? Is it a busy street on the outside of a neighborhood? Is your house located at the end of a T intersection on the street? A lot of people don't like that. Or does your house maybe back on to a grocery store or drugstore? Even though you're in a really great neighborhood and maybe your street is a quiet street, you have some commercial use behind you. So make sure you take into consideration the actual location on a street in the neighborhood. Makes it. Number three, are you located in a mixed use part of the neighborhood? For example, is there an apartment building down the street or duplexes or maybe a commercial building? Maybe there's some kind of industrial building two doors down from you. That will really affect how you need to price your house. It's not going to be as priced as high as this house, almost the exact same house, three streets away, but it's on a really great street. Number four, a lot of people forget about this one, but power lines, even if they're just sort of old, like cable lines, telephone pole lines in your backyard, a lot of people don't like to see that. Most people understand if you have the really huge power line structures, um, nearby that that's typically a detriment, but don't forget about even just the telephone pole lines in your yard. Most people don't like that. And number five, this is if your neighbor's house is an eyesore. 
So if your neighbor has really overgrown yard or it's just dilapidated and not well taken care of or if they have five cars in the driveway, half of them working, half of them not, those things will also negatively affect where you need to price your house. Remember that, don't just think because your house is almost identical to one that's just sold and it's five blocks away, same school, same neighborhood, no mixed use, but you have the eyesore next door, you're probably not gonna get the same price as your neighbor did, sorry to say. Anyway, so those are five things to consider and break down about the location of your house. Don't just assume same neighborhood, same schools, you're all good. Think about all those things. So I know it's hard sometimes, you love your house, you love your home, but let me be your objective eyes and help you see some of these things. I wanna get the best price for you. And those are little details that I have to think about when I'm really pricing your house. It's not just data of the comps and how many upgrades you have. You really have to dig down into your location too. Makes a difference. So that's it for today. Again, I'm Annie Baker. Uh, please, you know, subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Have a look around. I have a lot of other videos here. Hopefully something will help you when you're getting ready to sell your house or if you're thinking about moving to a certain neighborhood. All my contact information is below and I look forward to helping you or meeting you sometime in person. Until next time, have a great one.